Hi, my name is Aman and I am a CPA practicing in the Metro Vancouver region of British Columbia, Canada. During difficult economic times, there is a tremendous temptation on the part of struggling business owners to finance the business by not remitting the required amounts for source deductions and the GST to the Canada Revenue Agency. Well, not surprisingly, this decision can result in adverse financial consequences for the directors and the secured creditors of the business. Well, if you are a director of a corporation that has not paid the required amount of source deductions and GST, please note that unfortunately, these obligations are personal obligations of all directors and CRA will be quick to remind you of this obligation when they learn of your failure to remit. Here is what CRA might do in such cases. First, set off. The government can reallocate any payment or benefits to you and apply them towards your outstanding tax debt. So payments from GST tax credit and other benefits can be used to reduce or pay your tax debts. Number second, garnishment. Canada Revenue Agency can seize funds from your banks other third parties and your wages to satisfy tax tax. Third, seizure and sale of your property. Well, Canada Revenue Agency can put a lien upon your home or other large assets and if the debt is not satisfied, they can seize the property and sell it. It is also important to understand that bankruptcy will not discharge a lien against property. Number four, holding the third party jointly responsible. Well, Canada Revenue Agency has the ability to hold third parties such as related corporations, spouses, and even other partners liable for your unpaid tax debts. As scary as the prospect might be, the better approach is to seek some advice from an insolvency professional and a chartered professional accountant on how to deal with unpaid tax debts. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. If you want to be notified about my new tax updates, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you.